All right, hello there, and welcome to the first lesson in this new unit called Whole Numbers. And we're going to be looking at numbers and place value and just kind of what we do with numbers in general as we look at them or how we can blow them up or use uh, models or pictures to uh, represent numbers. So to get us started, let's just talk about um, a situation here. Well, there's about 30,000 people living in the territory and none of it in Canada. So how does 30 thousand compare with the number of people in your community okay let's get uh let's get a lesson going here and just kind of the idea is that we're going to talk about bigger numbers here and we're going to talk about ten thousand and ten thousand is ten times great as one thousand so each one of these cubes here is actually made up of one thousand little cubes and if we have ten of those we would say that would be ten thousand However, 10,000, if we're talking about hundreds, it's 100 times as great as 100, and there are 100s, 100 hundreds actually in 10,000. Just to show you, like each one of these is 100, and when I have 10 of these, it equals one of these thousands. And remember, we need 10 of these things to make 10,000. Okay, well, let's talk about 10,000 as a terms of comparing it to tens and 10,000 is a thousand times greater than 110 and there is 1,000 tens in 10,000. So just to remind you that there is 10 of these guys which which go into one of those and remember as the previous screen showed 10 of these things goes into one of these thousand big blocks and again going back to 10,000 it is 10 of those. Well, let's talk about ones. And 10,000 is 10,000 times as great as one little cube there. There is 10,000 ones in 10,000. And again, just to remind you here, there's 10 of these guys, which makes one of these. And remember, there was 10 of these guys, which makes one of these. Which remember, 10 of these guys which makes one of these, 10 of these guys makes 10,000. See how they're all kind of connected there. So in a nutshell, 10 hundreds equals 1,000 and 10 tens equals 100 and one 10 or 10 of those ones equals 110. Now we can look at this another way in terms of place value and a place value chart shows the values of the digits of a number. And this place, place value chart shows the number 44,444. And as you move to the left on the place value chart, and if you don't know left, that means we're going this way, the value of the digit is 10 times as great as the digit before. So for example, here is four tens, and it's actually 10 times greater than this one. And this is 400, which is 10 times greater than that one. And so if you can see this four actually represents the the number 40,000 and let's say this number here actually represents the number 400. Okay well let's just make one up here how about I don't know 37,521. Well, what does, let's say, the seven represent? Well, that seven is in the thousands place, so that seven actually represents 7,000. Or what does this two digit represent? Well, that's in the tens place, so that actually represents the number 20. I'm gonna get you to try this one on your own, and uh, so take maybe a couple minutes to try it out. And so you want to pause it here and then uh, as when you're ready, you can press the play button again to see if what you thought matches what I think. All right, so the question here is, would you rather have $110 bills or 10 $1,000 bills? Okay, well, 100 of these guys or 10 of these guys. Now we don't see a thousand dollar bills too often. Now kind of the easy way to do this and I always like to say is counting zeros and counting how many zeros actually helps us 
figure out this. So when I when I have this, I'm actually talking about, well, I'm going to put the 10 there. How many zeros do I have? I have two, and I actually just tag those on here, and I actually get $1,000. So actually, $110 bills is actually worth $1,000. However, uh, if I build my 1,000 here, how many zeros are in this 10? Well, there is one zero, so I'm going to tack that on to the end there. Hey, that's $10,000. Well, I think if you were a person like you know, most of us, you probably would say, hey, I think we'd rather have that one there. I think that's going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to work out better for me in the long run. All right, here's another question I want you to try. So pause it when you uh, kind of get the idea, and then I want you to move forward. How many tens are in 5,000? How many hundreds are in 5,000? And how many thousands are in 5,000? So pause it there, think about that, write something down, press play when you're ready to move on. Okay, so we're kind of working backwards here. How many tens are in 5,000? Well, remember a 10 has one zero. Here's our one zero. I'm gonna cross that out for a sec. There is 500 tens in 5,000. Well, how many hundreds are in 5,000? Well, a hundred has um, two zeros. So I'm gonna cross these two zeros out. I'm left with 50. There are 50 hundreds in 5,000. And then lastly, how many thousands are in 5,000? I'm gonna write out that thousand. Hey, I have one, two, three, you know, zeros there. I have one, two, three. There is five thousands in 5,000. That one kind of makes more sense because we say 5,000. So there should be five thousands in 5,000. So there you have it. Um, we're looking at numbers and we're actually looking up, you know, in the 10 thousands of digits and just like the 10, you know, the digit after, you know, to the left is 10 times greater than one on the right. So there you have it. That's, that's our lesson. We're just working with numbers and how their power of 10 really takes place when we have place value and the way the digits work together. So remember in life, math happens. Take care guys.